Hey guys, my name is Jeremy Nicholson. I'm a regional wildlife biologist for the Idaho Department of Fish and Game. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to reduce human bear conflicts if you live in bear country. The best way to reduce human bear conflicts is properly securing your attractants. An attractant is anything that would offer some type of food reward for a bear if it came into your community. The attractant that we deal with on the most regular basis and causes the most issues is improperly stored garbage. If you think about it, how many calories would be in your garbage can if you left it out the day of a birthday party or some type of family get together? Probably a lot. Luckily, there are options out there to secure your garbage in a manner that will make it very difficult or impossible for bears to get into. First and foremost, you can purchase a bear resistant container and there's a lot of varieties out there. You can get the cans, the boxes and dumpsters. So whatever your need is, it can probably be met. And if you're really interested, that's awesome. We would love to help you find which one is best for you and your community. So call your local regional office and you can talk to somebody that help you pick out which one is best. Another thing to consider is have these been tested? Will they work? You don't want to just, all, all cans and containers are not created equally. If you follow the address below, you'll find a list of containers that have been tested by grizzly bears at the Grizzly Bear Discovery Center in West Yellowstone. So they really put them through the rigor of getting tested by grizzly bears. So if you purchase one of these, you can feel confident that it's going to work for you when you put it in your yard. If you don't want to purchase a bear resistant container for whatever reason, you can store your garbage in a garage or shed, but you want to make sure that the foundation and the door is strong enough to keep out a motivated bear. Now, if you put your garbage in one of these bear resistant containers or in a shed, then more than likely the bear may come in and investigate, may try to get in it for a day or two, but once it finds out it can't get in there, then it's gonna leave you alone. Another couple of other things to think about, if you have a rental property, you really wanna provide your renters with some type of bear resistant container. They're probably gonna gather up a lot of garbage and a lot of food for a few days. You don't wanna to have to make them leave it on their porch without anything protecting it. That could be potentially dangerous for the people coming in next, and definitely dangerous for the bears once they find it. Another thing to consider is if you have a provider that offers curbside pickup, don't put out your garbage the night before, put it out in the morning of. Bears are really intelligent and have the best nose in the business, so if you put it out the night before, then more than likely they're gonna find it. The tractors we deal with almost as much as improperly stored garbage are bird feeders. Bird feeders can offer 10,000 calories per large bird feeder. So if you think about some, some homes have multiple bird feeders in their yard and then all the bird feeders in the community, that's a lot of bang for the buck. And we can't stress enough that if you live in bear country, bird feeders are bear feeders when bears are out. We also can't stress enough that birds don't really need those bird feeders during the spring, summer, and fall months. The majority of them will do just fine on the natural food that's out there, so they really don't need them. If you're just really passionate about seeing birds in your yard, that's understandable. They're awesome. So we offer a couple options for you. You can buy a bird bath, and that will bring birds into your yard. They'll utilize the bath, but bears will not be brought into your yard because of that. You can also purchase flowers or plants or trees that bring birds into your yard, and both of these are options just Really great for bringing birds into your community without bringing the bears into them. And when we mention bird feeders, we also should say that um, this includes uh, hummingbird feeders. Hummingbird feeders is like the Kool-Aid for bears. It's nothing but sugar water and bears have a sweet tooth and those will definitely bring in the bears as well. So this is something to consider if you, if you live in bear country. Properly stored garbage and bird feeders are the attractants that we deal with most often and brings bears into communities on a regular basis. But if you live in bear country, you really need to consider anything that has any type of smell or offers a food reward. And that can be barbecue grills, compost piles, dog food, anything of that nature that brings bears into your community. You really need to take consideration and store those in a manner that's not gonna bring a bear into your neighborhood. Bears are an awesome animal and it's a privilege to share their landscape with bears or any other type of wildlife. But if you live in a country that supports these different types of wildlife, we have a responsibility to keep those animals wild. And you can help us do that by properly securing your attractant. And if you see a bear in your neighborhood, we would love to hear about it, particularly 
if there's a pattern there, if you see it multiple times. If you see it multiple times, then most often it's, it's gaining some type of food reward. And the faster we know about it, the more likely we can intervene before the problem becomes a serious situation. So if you see it, give us a call. We'd love to hear about it. And if you have any other questions, we'd love to hear those as well. Thank you for listening to us.